most people in America are familiar with different types of fetishism. There is also another type of fetishism that is sexual but is also predatory and is also abuse. It's when someone sprays a person's clothes so that they are abused by an insect or a type of population of insects. At the present moment, I am very familiar with how rainwater can attract insects, but I also know that there are hunter-type mentalities, who are actually hunters, who like to hunt people like you and me. You're not going to like some of the next coming up story storylines that I'm going to be sharing, and I may not be putting my imagery on it at all until the marvelous masterful bastard who's been stalking me and interfering with my technology might try to do it. But what I'm telling you is that these people have violated the law, and openly I'm a very clean person. I have never in my life had flies so attracted to me that it's obnoxious. They hit my hair, they hit my clothing, they hit everything, and I do my best to keep my clothing and myself clean. So what we know is that there are certain fetishisms that like to do that for a form of abuse, and they get some sort of in intelligent, not all, completely immoral, illegal, and unhealthy illness uh, in their life from it all.